Hi guys and welcome to my channel. It is Karen here with you today. Today I'm going to share with you a page that I have created in my super large Dina Wakely journal and I'm working on the craft for something a little bit different. So what I've got here is one of Dina's um, new stencils. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's something like curly frond. And the paint that I'm using is called D uh, is called sand, and it's one of Dina's um, paints. All the paints that I'm using today are from Dina Wakely. So I've just got my little makeup sponge and a little bit of paint, and I'm just pouncing the paint um, with my sponge into the stencil, so I can get that nice pretty little shape happening and I'm going to flip it up around the other way and do the same at the top so that looks kind of cool um, so yeah just pouncing it up and through just making sure I haven't got too much paint on my sponge otherwise it will ooze out underneath the stencil and um, yeah we don't really want that so a little bit of paint and then you can always add more later Trust me, I've learnt that. <laughs> Use a little bit and add it more. All right, so I've got that bit on there. So now I'm just picking out some other colours here to use on my page. I've got some eggplant, some carnation, and the last one is night. I'm sure it's night. Yes, it is. <laughs> The bottle is almost empty, so I had to shake it down a little bit to get it to uh, squirt. So I was kind of thinking that maybe I might do some more of those fronds, but then, you know, I changed my mind. So I'm having a look through my Dina Wakely stencil folder here. And it's just a, you know, it's just a display pocket folder that I've just slipped all my stencils into. Just makes it easier for me to find them, keeps them nice and flat and yeah, all good. So I've got this new stencil here, which is another one, um, another new stencil, sorry. I already said that, but you know, a new one. <laughs> and it's the tropical leaves. So I've decided to use the big um, the big one here. And I'm going to mix my eggplant and carnation paints in together so I can get a nice kind of patchy looking purple leaf. Well, I think it looks cool anyway. So the same as what I did with that frond um, stencil. I'm just flipping over the leaf so I can mirror it on the other side. Adding some of the carnation in there to make it look, you know, kind of cool. And then I was thinking, where am I going to put the next one? It's like there, no, there, yeah, at the bottom but up the other way. So again, with the paint on my sponge and just pouncing it through. So... Again, I haven't got too much paint on my sponge, um, just so that it doesn't ooze too much out underneath. Okay, so I'm quickly going to give that dry, which I have cut that bit out for you because no one likes to watch paint dry. <laughs> and now I've got my mantra stencil. And I've got the night paint and I'm just pouncing that one through in some random spots all over so I can get that looking pretty cool so yeah so that's looking really good I'm quite happy with how that is going so I've got some random words here and there and scattered around so I'm pretty happy with that so I've just about finished doing all my stenciling here through the words there just adding in a couple of other little bits some actual kind of sentences um, you know, be okay with what you make um, and keep going. So, yeah, I'm liking how that looks. So now I'm going to add some yellow gloss spray on it because I really wanted to add some yellow to this page. But because it's craft and I'm using yellow, it kind of sunk into my page. So it just looks a little bit like wet dots on the craft. But on the on the bits that I had painted I did get some yellow so oh well live and learn so now I've got some cheddar and I'm going to have another go with that I'm going to spray some of that on there so there's that one and now I've got the turquoise out because I really like this turquoise color and I've actually had to buy a new bottle so 
I'm just going to squirt some of this one on and that looks <laughs> very messy. But anyway, it's a splash it's a splash of color, so that's all that that's all that matters. So now that I've got that dry, I'm just finding out some finding some of my collage bits that I want to use on my page. No, I'm not. I'm actually got my big fat pencils out so I can draw around the outside of my leaves. So the pencils that I've got there in my little bucket, you can see that I've got some jolly ones, which you know that Dina quite likes. So I've got some of those. And I've actually got some Lyra um, giant ones as well. So I'm using a Lyra giant at the moment in the in the blue to go around the outside of my um, leaves there just to you know make them a little bit more interesting and um, I really like I'm liking how that looks so I'm just going to grab a white Posca pen and I'm actually going to go around them again so I'm doing some scribbly lines now on my leaves so they're not completely over the top of each other so it looks a bit wonky and a bit haphazard and um, it actually looks so much better if you kind of scribble it on rather than try and trace around the outside and be all precise. It actually looks better if it's messy. And then I thought, no, I don't think I'll do those top ones. So I've just done the ones in the middle. So now I'm just finding the right black pen um, Posca so I can do some um, acemic writing. I think I've said that right. So it's just made up words that looks like writing that isn't actually writing. So yeah, just add some more details into the background there. Make it looking a little bit more interesting. Okay. So now I'm going to get out my collage papers. <laughs> and I'm using um, a page out of the Dina Collective, like the first book. Um, so it's the fat pieces at the back, so they're quite chunky. So I've just ripped this page up and I've got that nice pinky bit that I'm going to um, glue on. And I'm using the ultra thick uh, medium, glue medium, glue, whatever it's called, from Dina. So I can hold that page in because the, pa the paper is actually quite thick. So some normal gel medium isn't going to cut it. Yeah, so that's why I got the big stuff out. And I've also got some writings um, tissue. So I'm going to rip that up and stick some of that on as well. And because I've got the, the, heavy, the heavy glue out, I'm just going to use that. So that's already on my palette knife and, and whatnot. And I want it to be a little bit loose and not really stuck down completely. So yeah, anyway. So I'm only using that because I've got it out, and, you know. Why why get out more stuff if if um if you don't need to? Okay, so I've lost a little bit of video there. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. But basically, all that I've done is I've finished off um, sticking some more bits onto my page uh, with some collage. So I've got the be brave and be bold which is st just stamped onto some um, white card and I've got my piece of rice paper there that I've actually stamped onto and I've glued that on quite haphazardly and I've also got some watercolor circles there which I'm just fiddling with a little bit there now so just making sure that I've got them all nicely stuck down um, I've also done a little bit of stamping in the background from the, same, from the same stamp set that I've used that big image from, which is, oh, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called. I'll put it all down in the, in the description box. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, and now I'm just doing a little bit of mark making just to finish off my page. So I've got my turquoise Posca pen out. And I'm just doing some little crosses and I've got some white dots there as well that I've done in Posca. So it's actually looking kind of cool. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out on the craft actually. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. Now because I've got that big yellow dot in the middle and I didn't quite get enough of the yellow like I was hoping to with the gloss spray. I've actually got out the lemon paint and now I'm just popping my finger in the paint and doing some little fingerprint polka dots so yeah so that's it 
it's pretty much finished so here's some um, pictures for you I do have a couple of close-ups here so you can see some of the details a little bit better so thank you so much for watching sorry I lost a bit of video there in the middle but until next time thank you and see you later bye